So you go about your day of school or work, doing the job and responsibilities that are expected of you. Then all of a sudden you become weak. You feel your heart racing faster than usual, and everything feels like you're spinning. Like your brain is trying to climb out of your head. The air feels thick and heavy, and your mouth begins to feel like chalk. You then jet out, beginning running from room to room, looking for something that isn't even there. Just hoping that your heart would stop racing. The world around you ceases to exist, and unexpectedly, all life is is just pain. You feel like you're dying. You're lying on your back, trying to get enough air to breathe. This happened to, and was described in a Players' Tribune article by National Basketball player Kevin Love. He had no idea what a panic attack was, and he didn't even know that it was coming. Kevin Love kept this experience a secret from the people close to him and those that are his teammates. His teammates criticized him for not telling him for not telling them what happened in the middle of that game, but he remained silent. Silent until the day he wrote that piece in the Players' Tribune article detailing what had happened and his battle with understanding the mental illness problems associated with that and himself. Kevin Love opened a lot of doors for other players to come and speak out about their um, faces with, a, with mental health and has created a safe space for that. And he's also become an advocate um, to normalizing the conversation around the issue that many have found taboo to talk about even before that. Now, um, the National, American, uh, the National Alliance for Mental Health has stated that one in five adults, that's 43.8 million people, face mental illness. Kevin Love is one of those 43.8 million. His father was a uh, successful basketball player in the 70s, uh, playing for the Los Angeles Lakers. Um, and so he's been around the game of basketball for a majority of his life. And with that, he wanted to pursue a career in basketball, but he knew that he wasn't going to be given any handouts. So with the mentality of be strong, don't talk about your emotions, get through it. He attended UCLA and got drafted into the NBA. He says that I have to focus on basketball, I'll deal with my emotions later, I need to be a man. This is what he was told growing up. Now, the Amateur Athletic Foundation of LA has said that 42% of eight to 17 year olds watch the game of basketball, meaning all those kids look up to these players as role models, as people to, uh, as models of success. Um, I can tell from my own experience that this is what I did. I looked at athletes as people that I could look up to, people that I could, you know, really look at my motives and kind of what made people a better person by looking at these people through their actions with their community and what, the, what the, they can do on the court. Um, that's what I did. And so Kevin Love did the same exact thing. He looked up to his dad and looked up around those players. And again, with the mindset of be strong and you'll deal with it later, be a man now, that's what he did. And that's what a lot of kids at that age will do. And that's kind of the cultural stigma around that as well. We're told that we shouldn't talk about our emotions as males because it makes us look weak. Kevin Love is going through that. He is making strides to normalize the conversation. And thankfully, him speaking out and him writing that Tra Players' Tribune article has inspired other players, like DeMar DeRozan, who talked about his battles with depression. And he's also helped a younger generation of players as well who are fully prepared on the challenges that are coming in the NBA in regards to emotional stability and how to deal with the media, which can be taxing and can also cause um, problems within the psyche. Um, he hopes to inspire others, just as I said before, because um, he would like to promote a, a state in the NBA and along with a state in the country of being able to talk about your emotions without feeling judged or, or criticized. And this all started in that Players' Tribune article, an article Kevin Love wrote passionately about and kept silent for a while until he released it. He broke cultural stigmas by talking about his emotions and by helping people out um, and normalizing that conversation by creating a safe space. And he got help. He sought out a team psychiatrist and is seeing them regularly and found that talking about his emotions was a, was a reason um, that beforehand he wasn't the best person that he could be. And he's helped athletes come out and speak about their own battles with it. And to kind of end, he, he created his own foundation recently, just a couple of days ago, called the Kevin Love Fund. 
Um, and his mission statement is incredible, but his ending statement to that is even better. He says, no matter how big or small it seems to you, uh, you're not weird or different for sharing your emotions. Thank you.